Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Christian Apple, and you're watching an episode of Grave Time here at the East Lawn in Sacramento, California, otherwise known as East Sacramento. And um, very excited to be here. Lots of great, well known people are buried here, famous and uh, just everyday folks who have made an impact in our lives and impact in other people's lives and whatnot. So, Anywho, I'm on the second floor of the um, main building, uh, the mausoleum. It is super hot up here. <laughs> There's no air. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a swimming pool, yet I'm not in a swimming pool. I'm just soaking full of sweat. <laughs> um, the elevator was down, so I had to take the stairs. My, um, my right knee still kind of hurts. I've got a knee, knee brace on from my... Um, stupid fall back in January. It kind of comes and goes. Anyways, like I said, uh, we're here at uh, East Lawn in Sacramento, and uh, let's check out who we're here to visit. Today we're going to go ahead and visit Neville Bran, otherwise known as Lawrence Neville Bran. That's a picture of him in his uh, in his cowboy costume, cowboy cowboy outfit. And here's his grave. If I can zoom in on it the best I can up here, right up here. I don't know if you can see that with the glass and the glare and whatnot, but uh, let's get a flag there. So, yeah, a little bit about Mr. Bran was he was an American television and movie actor. He was also a highly decorated World War II American combat soldier. So, you know what? God bless you, Mr. Bran, for your service and fighting for our country. And thank you for my freedom. And uh, thank you for the years of entertainment on uh, the big screen and on the little screen. And uh, so let's find out more about Mr. Brand here on Grave Time and uh, dive a little bit more into who he is and what he did. <clears throat> so, uh, Mr. Brand was born August 13th, 1920, and died April 16th, 1992. Neville Brand. An actor in film for 40 years, mainly in westerns and gangster pictures. He was also in several television series such as Leonardo and The Untouchables. Uh, I know he was also, um, I, he, I know, he also did episodes of Bonanza. Um, there's some others, I, uh, some other westerns I can't think of off the top of my head. But I know Bonanza was one of them. I know he was in Bonanza for a couple times. Um, you know, he starred in some other westerns. Um, let's see here. And uh, won an award for a role for uh, Willie Stark in All the King's Men. His cinema roles include Birdman of Alcatraz, Stalag 17. I know I probably just butchered that name. Stalag, Stag, Stalag 17. It was recently on um, Turner Classic Movies. Um, and it's normally on quite a bit. It's probably on every you know two months or so. Um, it's a it's a comedy slash um, war movie, and I've only seen bits and pieces of it. But the movie that he has been in uh, that is a huge favorite of mine is The Halls of Montezuma, which is a war movie, probably my favorite war movie of all time, and uh, definitely a huge honor to be here at the grave of uh, Mr. Novell Brown, who. Uh, was uh, an actor in the movie um, Halls of Montezuma, which, like I said, was my favorite war movie. Uh, let's see, he also was in a movie called Red Mountain. And um, I'm trying to think here if there's anything else I can find about him. Um, so, yeah, he's buried here in Sacramento. And. Um, Let's see here, if I can find how he passed away. I've got so many notes here. 
So many notes. So many notes and so... Um, <laughs> yeah, got a lot of notes here from Wikipedia and findagrave.com and and uh, just other little tidbits I found on online. Um, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he died of cancer. Um, let's see here. Okay, here's a few other tidbits about Mr. Mr. Bran. Um, uh, see, he was an insatiable reader who had a large collection of 30,000 books uh, that he had collected over the years, many of which were destroyed in 1978 in a fire at his Malibu home. Uh, his death... Uh, Mr. Brand died of emphysema at Sub General Hospital in Sacramento, California, of course, on April 16, 1992. And there was a private funeral service, and uh, Mr. Brand was cremated and is here housed at the East Lawn Memorial Park in Sacramento. And uh, he is survived by his wife, Ree, and his three daughters. Um, uh, some of the other movies that he has been in, uh, D.O.A., otherwise known as Dead on Arrival, uh, The Mob, um, Mohawk, um, let's see here, Tora, 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 and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. 1960. So folks, once again, this is Christian Apple for an episode of Grave Time. Uh, sweating bullets. I mean, I just got sweat pouring down all over me here because there's no air conditioning and it's an old building. Respectfully, it's an old building. I don't expect there to be air conditioning to please me. <laughs> um, but I just thank you all for watching Grave Time. Thank you so much for... Um, your comments for your support and um, keep watching tell all your friends uh, let's just spread this channel across the world for everyone to view and and uh, mourn and pay their respects to those who they love and honored and uh, those who are in the limelight so anyways this is like I said Christian Apple signing off God bless you all and have a wonderful day bye